Mr. Cruz has so many muscles. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sandra, you're the best. You stop I jiggling your okay. pecs. I'm sorry. I'm okay. a law against Back that. to science. I, I bet it's, that's illegal in three states. <laughs> <laughs> and muscles are so hard to build and maintain. In the cosmic sense, how important are muscles? And why do we need to work so hard for them if they are so important to our survival? Is this entropy? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I like it. Well, okay. So there's a lot of speculation about like the strong man in the tribe. Because what does that person do? Goes out and gets the the food. Okay. They right. walk back with an elk. Yeah. On the yeah back, exactly. Okay. And they're right. the one. I'm the man. I'm the man. And I brought back the food. Uh-huh. Okay. And there's further speculation that that person has almost mythical significance in the tribe. Mm-hmm. And everybody wants to mate with that person. Because mm-hmm. if you don't want to mate with that person, then you don't have offspring that could possibly do that in the future. And you'll just die. You'll be a, a, a dead end in the, in the, in the, gin, in the gin. And, and very hungry. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So people have speculated that this accounts for the fascination we have with famous people Mm -hmm. because that whatever was that urge to want to make babies with who brought back the food today, you don't need to do that because there's a grocery store down there. So what became of that urge? Mm -hmm. It's still there within us. Right. And there's the, there's the person on the silver screen who's, that's the person who I want to mate with or, or I want that to be my friend. There's an urge, even though they're a total stranger and they could be a total asshole. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So muscles have that role, but there are other roles that muscles don't really serve. Mm. Okay, so I don't know if, if everybody had muscles, you know, is that, does that work? You know, so maybe some people out of a group need the muscles for the tribe. Mm-hmm. And, you know, others need to be able to climb trees nimbly, maybe, to get the fruit. Somebody needs to uh, swim. You surely know how to swim, but if you have less fat, as you surely do, you're less buoyant. Yeah. Okay. People who have very sinewed muscles are less buoyant in the water. Now, Olympic swimmers, of course, are are very sort of lanky. They they don't look like you. Yeah, no. Very different bodies. Not at all. Okay. I've seen that. Yeah, you've seen that. But long distance swimmers typically have a little more fat on their bodies, which gives them buoyancy. So that the energy you're putting into swim is not only to keep you afloat, Mm -hmm. it's to actually push you forward. Because if you're going to sink, some of your energy has to go into not sinking. I love what you're saying because it shows that the muscle is skill oriented. To, to what you need. Yes, it doesn't have to be big. Right. Just skill. It's not about big. It's, that's correct. Yes, I and, love that. And are you quick? Can you catch the rabbit? Yes. And some big muscular person is not catching the rabbit. Oh, listen. I, first of all, you being big, rabbits? I, I've seen for, for years big guys in the gym who can't do anything. They just they can just, just lift weights. They're just big. Big you know what I mean? Uh, I have a perfect example. I thought I was strong and I had a mover one time. Little guy. I mean, he, he just looked like a normal guy. And there was a box I couldn't move. I was literally like, hey, man, you're going to need to bring some other views. And no, I got it. And he picked it up <laughs> and walked out the door. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my. Because I like this- the fact that you benchmarked other people's abilities to your own ability. What? The- well, this is the you thing. said, I can't do this. He must need help. Uh, you, I totally told him. I was like, you, you better get your friend. Yeah. And he was like, no, no, I got it. And he picked it up and walked out the door. <laughs> and I realized something. I said, this is what he does. That's what he does. And all his all muscles are configured for that. Everything is configured yes. for moving. Yes. I'm not. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. <laughs> yeah. I don't move anything. You, you're a celebrity <laughs> body. <laughs> I love it. You pop your pecs. That's and- it. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah. So entropy is disorder. Mm-hmm. And generally, we like living in what is ordered and we put energy into a system to order it so yes. that we can function within it. But we have to get that energy from somewhere else. Yeah. Things don't could be, get ordered for free. Wow. Okay. So uh, we get our energy from the food and the food gets its energy. If it's an animal, it ate plants. The plant got its energy from the sun. Wow. So ultimately, we are all solar powered. I love that. That's hot. That is really, that is beautiful, man.